Hi, I'm Lance, one of the trainers here at Baxi Training Centre God Manchester. Today what we're going to look at is thermistors, different types of thermistors and the different boiler ranges where we use them. A thermistor is the component that the boiler uses to measure water temperature or combustion temperature. In previous Training Tuesday videos we have gone through how to test these using your multimeter. Today we're going to look at where they sit in the boiler and how to remove them. This one is out of the older 105 or Potterton Performer combination boilers. Two of them, one for hot water, one for central heating, 13 mil spanner to remove them. This one is the later version out of the Duotex, the Platinums, the Potterton Pro Max combination boilers and the main Eco Elite for hot water. Used for hot water and heating, 13 mil spanner. These ones are simply clip on ones. Clip onto the flow and return pipes going up to and from the stainless steel geoconi heat exchangers. We're used on the Eco Blue combination boilers, also used on the 200 400 range and on the later 600 800 range of combi boilers. This one is from the older heat only boilers, Baxi Solos, Potterton Pro Maxes. Sits on the flow pipe coming out of the heat exchanger next to the flow switch. Simply held on with a little bracket and two clips. Dry pocket. This one is out of the main Eco Elite Combi boiler. Aluminium heat exchanger sat right at the top of the heat exchanger, wet pocket, 12 mil spanner. This one is out of the stainless steel geoconi heat exchangers. This one is used to measure temperature of combustion. It's used like an overheat stat, but it is actually a thermistor. We call it the flu thermistor. Sits at the top of the heat exchanger, either on the right or the left hand side of the flue. Very easy to get out, simple quarter turn and retract it from the heat exchanger. Obviously if it's in combustion, it's a dry pocket. Now I'll show you these thermistors and the different ranges of boiler. This is the Baxi 600 range. The 800 range is the same setup. There's four thermistors. There's a hot water thermistor on the left hand brass outlet hydro block, wet pocket, 13 mil spanner, copper washer. There's two clip on thermistors, one on the flow pipe coming out of the heat exchanger and one on the return going into the heat exchanger. The flow has a red wire into it, the return blue wire into it. All you need to do is make sure that they're clipped onto a straight piece of copper, not on the bend. At the top left hand side of the heat exchanger, you've got your flu thermistor, quarter turn, dry pocket. This is the Baxi Duotech boiler. The Baxi Platinum is the same setup. There's three thermistors, one down in the left hand hydro block, the outlet assembly, that is a wet pocket. You would need to isolate the cold water coming into the boiler and open a hot tap to relieve the pressure before removing it. It will have a washer on it. The older fibre washer or the new copper washer. That washer will need replacing with the thermistor. It's a 13 mil spanner, which you can get in from underneath in the slot in the bottom of the boiler. This, on the flow pipe coming out of the heat exchanger, is your central heating thermistor or primary thermistor. Dry pocket, 13 mil spanner. It will have white heat sink compound on the thermistor, but no washer. At the top of the heat exchanger there, you have the flu thermistor quarter turn, dry pocket. This is the older Baxi 105 model. On this model, there are two thermistors. One is a hot water thermistor on the left hand hydro block. It's behind the pressure gauge connection and it's a wet pocket, 13 mil spanner. The central heating thermistor is on the flow pipe coming down from the heat exchanger and that's a dry pocket, 
13 mil spanner. Here we have the main Eco Elite Combi. This spoiler model has two thermistors, a hot water thermistor in the same position and the same thermistor as the Duotech, 13 mil spanner wet pocket, and your central heating or primary thermistor is at the top of the heat exchanger, just next to the flow pipe. That is a wet pocket and that's a 12 mil spanner. I hope you found today's Training Tuesday video useful and I hope to see you again on another video soon.